Okay. If you guys saw the other video, see Aquarian Age, you're going to start doing things that you enjoy that are like your purpose. Like, see, I've already done like two videos and it's like 6.15. So, um, I'm going to... Okay. Usually you're only supposed to do one, but that makes sense. So, um, it's going to be the light of the day draw, um, kind of like the card of the day, but it is asking, um, a message of, like, a what message of light can you have for the day, okay? And it's usually a one draw spread, but if more than one come out, like, whatever, and you take it in reversal or upright. So, um... This one, it says Queen of Swords. Okay, and it's in reversal. And then we got Eight of Swords. Okay. So, Queen of Swords is somebody that has mastered their thinking. Um, they're very confident in their thinking. Which is funny because I just did a video on, um, on um, Geminis and doing their thinking for... Uh, <laughs> they're thinking for what they want to do for their goals and what they want to do for their lives and swords is actually an air sign um it's gemini libra and aquarius so it's kind of funny um and this is exactly exactly what i was saying in that video okay so <clears throat> queen of swords queen of swords um like i said she's a person who knows where she's going she's a person of action um from her thinking uh, see, she's very confident in how she's just looking out, like, waiting to, like, take the action with the sword and start, you know, getting shit together. Um, she is nurturing of her thoughts, so she's not like this. She's not in a state where, um, she's a prisoner in her own mind. Again, paradigm shifts, um, your paradigm could have you stuck in a rut. Your paradigm could... Why did I do that? Your paradigm of your beliefs, your core beliefs and values could definitely get you in this kind of energy of Eight of Swords energy. Um, it's kind of like... Okay. It's kind of like... Okay, so she's thinking, right? And she looks like that. But when she looks in the mirror... This is how she's actually looking. Um, and she's being torn in so many directions but doesn't know where to go. Um, with the blindfold on there and how all the crows are like pulling her in all these different directions. Okay, so this is exactly what I was saying. Okay. Yeah, we got Dawson. I'm going to finish this. So try to get yourself in this paradigm shift. Try to use your thoughts and your communication skills and figure out your ideas and, you know, get out of the prisoner, um, even the victimized mindset. Because if we're in a victimized mindset, it's not going to get us anywhere either. Um, it's going to keep us stuck. Um, and you might never get that justice. So from whatever it is that you might need that is getting you stuck in this kind of energy. Um, eight of wands is about communication with other people, like communication coming in. So when I see the eight of swords, it kind of reminds me of you're not getting that. Um, that could be one of the things, you know what I mean? Um, it doesn't have to be, but it's definitely a prisoner in your own mind, which is what you have to change your beliefs about, um, in order to have them not be that way. Okay. So this is exactly, I just made a video, just did, and, um, it's exactly, and then I fed the, the bunny and I had to, oh, I had to get Lily. So, um, but this is exactly it. So get out of the opposite of the negative thinking the critical thinking the putting yourself down being too hard on yourself going with the back and forth um you know what I mean like get into the actual queen of war um swords energy which is funny because it's like she's looking t the other way it's like she's looking 
to bigger and better things of, like, the future, and this person's, like, stuck. So, if you can today, try to ask yourself what your values are, what you want for your life, how you look at things, what your beliefs are, you know, um, and if they're not aligned with how you're living right now, that's why you're in this state of mind, okay? So, the light of the day cards are queen of swords and the downside position and eight of swords in the upright. So, pretty much this is causing you to be in this energy. All right. So, let's get those negative thoughts and critical thinking of yourself, too. Like, start praising yourself. Start telling yourself that you love yourself. Give yourself a hug once in a while. Uh, it's cold out, but go tree hugging. See, that's my Aquarius um, hippie type look. Um, tree hugging is so much fun. Uh, laughter therapy. You know, if you smile, like make yourself smile, like, like out of nowhere, like just keep doing it. It actually helps for some reason, probably because of the whole like bone thing when they say like it takes less bones to smile than it does to have a smug on your face, but probably not, but just, you know what I mean? Like it, it's just better. Um, so yeah, so that's what I do sometimes. Like if I'm just like in a really bad mood, I'll just be like, <laughs> like just do it. Um, but yeah, so try to get more in a positive thinking rather than negative. Um, praise yourself more. Um, use the affirmation of saying, I have a phenomenal thought right now and the idea of it is. Or just say, I have a phenomenal idea and it is this. Phen using the word phenomenal and I am is so powerful. Like, it's so powerful. And I don't know why. I know the I am affirmations. I know why those are so powerful. But I don't know why the word phenomenal is. Um, it just is. Like, even if you can use words in that, like, or I am having phenomenal ideas right now and they'll come. But you got to quiet your mind. And that's why meditation is so important because that's when you quiet your mind and there's no monkey chatter. So you're actually allowing your intuition and your subconscious mind and your guides to talk to you. So you have those ideas. Can you stop? Um, and that's where that comes from. That, that, that helps a lot. So... That's the light message of the day is just get out of that mindset, okay? Like, just think about what it is you want because when you can align with what you want, life can be so much easier. So I'm actually going to um, make up or look up or whatever some paradigm shift in value um, questions that might help be able to um, ask yourself um, and maybe even ways how you can change your paradigm from your parents. I think that's what I'm going to do today. I was going to do a paradigm shift um, um, little class today too, but I, I can do that after. But I'm trying to live my best life too. And I do a lot of, lot of, lot of self-development self work. And I have so many notebooks and so it's really funny listen it's really funny because I was cleaning the other day I'm cleaning out my whole entire house so even though it might look like a mess it's actually really not like I have like eight bags and box that's another thing I have to do I have like eight bags and box boxes over there and it's all donations like I'm going to like a children's charity and I'm like giving all of it to them a lot of it are unopened toys that Dawson has never played with um, so that's why I'm going to a children's charity, you know what I mean? Plus it's Christmas time. So it has clothes, um, anything like that. So when I go, if anybody else wants to get rid of crap, get rid of things, I can, 622, I can take it and bring it to, I can, I'll widen out the charities. Um, and go to different ones. So not just one charity gets all that stuff. And I talked to a couple. Um, so I know how they like work. 
Um, and I picked the one that I wanted to go to. So, 9.55. Um, that's what I'm doing another day. So, yeah. So, if anybody has any donations or charity um, things or want to clear out their house to, like, a winter cleaning, um, just let me know. And I will pick up your stuff and bring it to charities when I do it. Um, if anybody has extra food, um, like, you know, free <laughs> Dawson, for example, <laughs> 10, 22, 6, 22. Dawson, for example, sometimes will not eat his chips. Like, I'll get those big bags of, like, Doritos or whatever, or we will get snacks. Um, when we used to get food from the school, I'd either give it to people that I knew needed food, um, they couldn't afford it, or whatever. Um, or when stuff like that would happen, like, back in the day... When I had extra food and all that, and I wouldn't want to throw it away because I hate throwing away things. I hate it. Even though I know I'm abundant and I can get it 10 55, and I can get it at any time and point, and I don't have problems paying for it or anything like that. It's like still like I hate it. And that's one of my beliefs, and I have to change that. I have a lot of beliefs that I know I have to change, um, and it does hold me back from a lot. Um, that's another thing. It's like your your beliefs hold you back. Like, your paradigm shit. Like, your paradigm. Uh, there's an affirmation, too. Bob Proctor. Amazing man. Amazing. Amazing. Um, amazing. And it's, okay, so, like, yeah. I have so many notebooks. So many notebooks. Like, up the ass notebooks. Like I have a chest just with self-development, self-care, self-work. And I have it in, 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 like, in bags and other bags and all this stuff of, like, all of it that I've ever done. And, like, plus I'm, like, trying to make a business out of it, okay? Like, I I have, like, people that, like, I follow. Like, those are my people. Like, those are my people that are spiritual leaders or they do self-development, like Bob Cro Proctor. And I want to put all of their teachings into one and have my own, also, beliefs and put it in that practice as well so that's what I'm trying to do right now so that's why I have to try to do videos because it's like self-alignment you know what I mean like that's what I have to start doing um um yeah, Lily um but yeah so paradigm shift Bob Proctor um he has a, a program right now it's like six hundred dollars four hundred five hundred dollars um for paradigm shift things but you can also look stuff up um but anyways yeah like four years ago I used to do all this like those are where my notebooks are from well, not all of them but a lot of them like if you ask Dawson or Michaela or mainly those two they're the ones that knew me the most at that time literally like kids <laughs> um but mm, all I was doing was studying and all I was doing was writing in my notebooks and all I was doing was, I miss those days, man. I really do. Like I was thinking about it the other day, like yesterday and this morning, I was just like, damn, like I need to get back to doing that. And it sucked. Cause like last summer I was literally doing it again. And then something happened and I was like, Oh shit. So I have to get back into that again. I have to stop letting certain things distract me, literally, and get me all caught up in it. Um, cause it's not healthy, and I don't. I don't even know how it happens, but cause I'm not, I'm not even like that person. And then I come off as a different person. It's just annoying. Um, but yeah. So I I was looking through my notebooks the other day, and there was like a random one, and it actually had one of my goals in it. And it actually happened. And I was like, damn, like, I didn't even try to do it. Like, it just happened. Like, literally, what is it? Like, 5 or 15% of trying and, like, 85 or 90 or whatever. Um, not trying actually manifests your dreams more. So people are, like, all about hard work. Like, I had to bust my ass in order to do this. I had to bust my ass to get paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. It's like... Actually, if you just live out your passions and do what you enjoy doing and you take step by step 
from what the universe will give you from your manifest, from your thoughts and, you know, your, what you write down for your goals and what you want next for your life. And, um, the less resistance that you put on your goals and what you want, the more it will come. So it's like you put out into the universe what you want, write it down. But you have to be specific. You cannot be, you have to be clear, clarity. You cannot have the wobbling of, I want this, but, because the universe does not give you a but. It does not give you a contrary or contrast or duality or opposite. Okay, opposite is the word I'm trying to look for. It does not give you the, it gives you the opposite. It gives you the confusion, the Gives you the confusion. That's why Gemini's and Pisces have so much. It's so it's so much harder for so yeah. It's so much harder for them because they flip flop all the time, and it's very hard for them to make a legit decision. That's why I'm talking, and I was talking to my Gemini's and Pisces in the other video because we got to step up our game. Not like that, but we got to figure out what we want because that's why. It might be harder for us to manifest sometimes because we go back and forth. So you really need to be clear on what you want, not judge yourself on what it is you want. And even if you don't believe that you can get it, still write it down and look at it. Even make a vision board. I don't know if anybody's heard of a vision board. A vision board is like a board or something that you would put around your house. Even like put like no little sticky things like on your mirror in your bathroom of like things you want or pictures of things you want. So every time you see it and then you can read your goals as well, your subconscious mind is picking it up because your subconscious mind goes by images. It doesn't go by time. There's no such thing as time in your subconscious mind or at all. <laughs> 1655. Or at all. Like, it's linear. There's no such thing as time. Okay? Calendar is man-made. Technically, time, the clock. Like, man-made. It wasn't... There was nothing. You think freaking cavemen... The only way they knew that it was time to sleep is... Or whatever was because the sun went down. And that's actually how zodiac signs even came about. Because they actually, 1722, they actually were studied by animals. And the way the animals were was how they made, like, the seasons because we go by our birthday, right, of when we were born. So they went by, like, the seasons and the months and everything of how the certain animals were of the certain... Ugh, it was cer there were certain reasons why they picked those animals. It wasn't just like, oh, hey, let's do a wolf today. Like, no. Um, so that's actually how the Zodiac came about, was uh, from the seasons of the certain animals, of the certain attributes, and all that stuff. But I don't know where I was going before that. But um, I have to go wake up Dawson. Um, but pretty much, like, there it is. The alarm clock. Um, so pretty much like, shit, I don't remember what I was saying. I don't know. Gemini is just, oh, the vision boards and everything. So yeah, so like, make a vision board, put up pictures of like, if you want a baby, put up pictures of diapers, put up pictures of babies, put up pictures, you know what I mean? If you want to go on a trip to Bermuda, put up pictures of Bermuda, you know what I used to do? This is when, like, I, like, if I did it now, I'd be able to manifest it so much better than I did before. But I would make fake checks or I would use a check from back in the day and I would just put it in an envelope and I would put it in my mailbox and I would put a certain amount of money number on there with my name, like, paid to the order of that, you know, whatever. Um, and I would pretend that I would... Those were my checks that I was getting in the mail of being paid that amount of money. You know what I mean? And then I would picture the not the number in my bank account. And then, um, you know, just go from there. And then I would say affirmations like, I get paid to just breathe. I get paid just to be living. I get paid just being me. You know what I mean? Like, it, it's it, manifesting is actually automatic. It's just like autopilot. It just, you have to a certain way on how to do it and 
you can't have any expectations of your outcome. Um, cause what you want might, the universe might have better for you, um, that you wouldn't even expect because you're trying so hard to make what you want and you're putting more resistance. So say 1955, say you want, the only reason why I use love stuff is because it's easier for me to explain. I mean, you can use love or career or family, like whatever. If, but I'm going to say this. If you're trying really hard for somebody to like you, okay, it's actually going to push them away because you're pu- you're putting you're putting the resistance of the natural flow of nature to just go with the flow to make it happen. Because if you think about it, our solutions are already solved. And if we let go, they just kind of come with the flow and just work itself out, you know? So let's get out of that crazy monkey brain overthinking, especially you Geminis, figure out what you want. I'll put up a video later for some um, affirmations and shit like that. So let's get out of our heads. You know what I mean? Try to figure out what we want. Paradigm shift. And let's get back into our Queen of Swords energy. That is the light of the day message. (laughs) Bye.